Hi everyone, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie. Um, for well, first of all, um, we're taking family photos today, so I thought while I have my hair and makeup done, um, I thought I would film like a little mommy favorites video. Some of these are like things I used in pregnancy. Some of these are like postpartum things. I think I did a video similar to this a few years ago. Um, I would have to go through and find it. I can't remember if it was like strictly a mommy favorites or if it was like baby products that I loved um but this is like strictly things that are like more for me that I've been loving like pregnancy postpartum so I thought I would start with like just a couple of pregnancy things um starting off with belly bands now I actually have two different belly bands um the first one and i'll put pictures up from amazon both of these are from amazon the first one i've used my past three pregnancies and it is just just literally one single band it velcros um it just really kind of helps with like the what's it called sciatica pain and hip pain and this one works well i believe this was like the cheaper option on amazon um a few years ago i th it was probably been like i think it's been five years since i bought this and I believe five years ago this was literally the cheapest one on Amazon and that's why I bought it and it works great um it's called an aid brace and it just kind of like helps disperse the weight of your belly better so that way it's not like on your I don't even know like tendon nerve um it kind of distributes the weight more so to like your back and your hips the only like complaint I have and I have this with both of these belly bands is that they are kind of itchy um you have to like wear them they're more comfortable if you wear them like over a shirt and so I mean, the best way to probably wear them would be to wear like a tank top underneath wear this over the tank top and then have your shirt on top but that's just like too many layers especially when you're pregnant and you get really hot so i usually would just wear it under my shirt um if i was around the house though i'd put it over my shirt but going places i just wear it under my shirt but it does get kind of itchy um but it really does help with like the nerve pain now this pregnancy i could not find this uh until the very very end of my pregnancy and so i actually ordered another one and this one works even better um i'm not gonna be able to show this very well because there's just like so many pieces but um you have like a normal band this bigger part this like part with the mesh part is it goes around your back then there's this third band right here that kind of goes on top of your belly and this one works a lot better it like just holding your belly up um like literally it holds your belly up and just disperses the weight better so you're not in as much pain um as you can see there's like three separate parts to it it's kind of uh when i first got it i was really confused on how to okay i forgot what i was saying because my whole family just barged in here but there's like three separate pieces um when i first got it i was confused on how to put it on um but it does come with instructions and so um it just it took a while to get the hang of but it works a lot better than this one but this one it works fine and it's a cheaper option so those are two things um this one also the cheaper one uh you can make it really tight so like when you are postpartum um if you need kind of like more of a i don't know not corset what are they called not necessarily like a corset or a waist trainer but like a, a wrap um to like hold things in place after you have baby um this one works great for that because you can make it tighter like pretty tight against postpartum belly i never really used one of these i didn't have like horrible muscle separation or anything but um uh, it does work postpartum as well if that is something you're interested in it doesn't work as well as like one that's made for that because it is kind of like a it's not going to go over your whole abdomen you know it's like short but it could work for that and then next up i have nursing bras and the first bra is one that i've talked about lots and lots it's these fruit of the loom bras i got them off of amazon um they're just sports bras neither of these bras are meant for nursing um but they work great for nursing so these fruit of the loom bras are just nice cotton bras they do have like padded inserts i don't like the padded inserts for these ones um i just think they're more comfortable without them they're like really stretchy and they do offer like a lot of support and it's just really easy to kind of like pull the top down and nurse i don't like the nursing bras like 
nursing bras made for nursing because I just don't like dealing with all of the like clips and having to clip it up. I just much prefer something that you could just pull down, put back up. Works great, you know? So these, again, I got on Amazon. I actually, I ordered these when I was pregnant with my second baby. Um, and then I ordered more when I was pregnant with my third baby. And then this time around, I tried a different type of bra, which are these and these ones also sports bras these don't offer as much support but they are so much more flattering um these sports bras again they're so comfortable they offer a lot of support but they kind of give you like a uniboo especially when you're wearing them under like a t-shirt or something i know there's a crying baby in the background but my husband has her uh they do kind of give you like uniboo so not super flattering these ones are a lot more flattering the padded inserts are like actually useful on these ones. I actually heard of these bras because of um, Acacia, I think that's how you say her name, Acacia Cutie on Instagram. She has a YouTube channel too. Um, and these come in like a big pack as well with a bunch of different colors. And they're like ribbed and they are, they're something that you could wear, you know, also like as like a crop top or something if you're not nursing. And again, they're just really easy to pull down and nurse. You don't have to mess with like, um, buttons or clips or you know anything like that so I just prefer more sports bras types for instead of regular nursing bras and these ones are sports bras I could you could never work on these there's just the support is not there but they are more flattering looking easy to nurse in just not great support wise let's get into some belly products so something that I've used all four pregnancies is lavender oil I just rubbed it on my belly when I was pregnant and postpartum I don't think it really helps with stretch marks um, I've heard great things about bio oil for stretch marks I might try it I've never really minded the look of stretch marks too much on me personally they don't really bother me um, my I'm more self-conscious about like my loose skin on my belly and I feel like all of these have kind of helped with that and like preventing that and helping my skin tighten up again so lavender oil I've used every single pregnancy and then the past two pregnancies um, I've had four kids I don't know if I made that clear at the beginning of the video I often assume that most people who watch my videos are subscribers but then when I look at my analytics most are actually people who just find my videos randomly so hi if you've never seen another one of my videos before I have four kids so the past two videos I've been using this African Shea butter this is actually, um, I think, I feel like it works the best, but it's not my favorite to use just because it gets really messy, but it looks like this, like literally big chunks. Um, you have to melt them. You can melt them in like a wax warmer. I honestly just melt them. I put them in like a bowl, melt them in the microwave, and then rub it on my belly. It's not the greatest scent, so sometimes I do mix it with the lavender oil. And I think that this works the best personally, but the one thing that I've been using this pregnancy, which is, um... My personal favorite is this Burt's Bees Mama Bee Belly Butter. This my sister actually got for me while I was pregnant. Um, and I'm like, I don't know, I probably have like a fourth of the tub left. Um, and you just need like a little, I don't know, like teaspoon size amount to cover your whole belly. And it smells great and it's easy to use. It's the least messy of all of these three, which I think is why I've been liking it so much this time around because even the oil does get like a little messy um it takes longer to absorb and stuff which is a, it's a good thing for your skin but it's just kind of inconvenient and so this one I have been loving and then nipple creams so I've got two nipple creams this time around this one um is just the parents choice like Walmart brand it's the Lanolin balm and it's very much I can't think of the it's like a knockoff for I'll put it on the screen this one and this one I've used all four pregnancies all four with all four babies um, it works really great it is kind of like it's very thick like honestly it reminds me of a very thick honey but if you have like cracked sore bleeding nipples it works really really well it lasts a long time like you put it on and it will it stays on it doesn't like rub off or anything probably because it is like so sticky and so thick 
but the downside is it is kind of hard to get out of the tube it's kind of hard to apply because it is so sticky and thick um sometimes it's painful to apply because it's like sticky and thick and you have to like really mess with the product to get it on um so my husband actually got me this one which is this lansino organic nipple balm and this one is like it's almost like a lip balm like it's really soft it's really easy to use uh, i've been kind of liking it more this time around just because it's really easy to use it's easy to apply um, you don't have to mess with the product it's more comfortable when you are applying it but because it's like thinner and not as sticky and it's more like a it's almost like the texture of vaseline um it rubs off really easily it doesn't last as long it doesn't work as well in like healing dry and cracked nipples you have to apply it more often but it's just easier and more convenient to just put on really quickly and so i've been kind of preferring this one over this one um it really just depends like what you're in the mood for i guess um like they both have pros and cons basically that's what i'm saying and then the next thing that i've been loving are these like boob things you like insert them in your bra um they have these holes and then if you are leaking any milk it catches that milk and it has been so so convenient my downside though is the ones that i have have these little holes at the top and I think the holes are meant to like, once you catch the milk, it's really easy to pour it into a bottle or a breast a, a freezer bag. But if you have them inserted and you bend over, the milk spills out the top. And so there's been a lot of times where I'll have them in, I'll go to like lay my baby down in her crib and milk spills out all over her crib. That's the most inconvenient part. You have to remember that you're wearing them. Um, also lately because like, you can't like bend over and wear them and I'm always picking toys and stuff up off the floor. I pretty much only wear them now when I'm breastfeeding. I'll have this one on the other boob. That way I, I know it's on, I don't forget it's on and I don't end up accidentally making a mess. And then it also um, gets, you know, all over your shirt and then you have to change and it's just, it's a mess. So if you can try to look for a brand that doesn't have a hole right here i don't know if there are any like that the ones that i have are babe bay and don't get me wrong they work great i get so much like milk from them um without even having to try but then i'm always making messes because i forget they're in so the next thing is this diaper bag which i absolutely love i actually just posted a like what's in my diaper bag video um, by the time this video goes up, it'll have been up for a couple weeks. And someone commented, I called this a coin purse. It's actually for binkies. Um, I had no idea. So um, if you missed that video, this diaper bag turns into a crib. I love it. It's so nice to travel with. The only problem I have with it is this top zipper. This top zipper right here, when you're like out and about, it's such a pain in the ass to like zip it up and i put my wallet in this main one and so like if i pay for something at the store i have to like swing the bag around get the zipper open get it out try to like i'm throwing my wallet back in messing with the zipper trying to get it zipped up and it's just a pain in the ass the zipper doesn't get stuck or anything it's just i think that's just with all backpacks it's harder to zip and unzip when you're you know at a cash register paying for something kind of rushing so the people behind you aren't waiting on you that's really my only complaint about it so far and i feel like that's just a complaint i would have about any backpack diaper bag i do wish they had like more of a purse version that had like a, a portable crib in it um because i just prefer a purse it's easier to use when you're out in public and stuff um i guess a backpack is easier for longer trips a purse is easier for when you're just like at the grocery store or doing something i don't know short and small you know then the last two things i have are things that i don't have with me um the first thing is just protein shakes i've been loving the premier protein protein shakes except for the cinnamon roll flavor which i mentioned in a vlog it just tastes like a candle to me um the vanilla ones and the cookies and cream ones are my favorite um and they're just really great for like I'm really bad at, um, has my eyelash been off this entire time? Uh, I'm really bad at 
remembering to eat especially breakfast i almost never eat breakfast and so i've been mostly having these instead of breakfast and it just really helps it like giving me energy first thing in the day i get some calories in when normally i wouldn't because i just don't eat until like lunchtime um and they're just really easy and convenient to have on hand and then the next thing is an air purifier instead of a like sound machine um we have air purifiers all throughout our house because uh here in texas we just get a lot of dust and then we also have a dog and so we have air purifiers pretty much in every room and the one in our room just so happens to be next to the baby's crib and because it does this wasn't even something i even thought of until this baby but because it does make noise it basically works as a sound machine like it just makes a like very soft lulling sound um and it's been so convenient and sometimes my oldest daughter will come in and she likes to mess with it and turn it off and stuff and i've noticed that the baby is more likely to wake up to sounds and stuff when it's off when my oldest daughter turns it off um Versus when it's on, like, because I have other kids being loud all of the time and she sleeps through it because of the, the air purifier fire is basically working as a sound machine. Um, and then you just have the added bonus that it's purifying your air and cleaning your air and, you know, kind of works as like two things. I feel like it's a lot better than a sound machine because it's also cleaning out your air. You know, it has a dual purpose. And so... Um, I'm glad I never bought a sound machine because it's working great and because of that because you guys know I also have a um, one and a half year old I changed the air purifier in her room to the like highest setting so that way it's like a slightly louder humming sound so she will also she's also more likely to sleep through loud noises now so um, that has been working great for both of my babies so that is it for like my mommy favorites that's everything that i could think of at least um, when i was coming up with this list if you have any favorite products um let me know in the comments down below especially if they're postpartum products i'd love to hear about them um might even try some out but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye guys